So today we're thinking about peace as our second theme in Advent. And to be honest, I was quite disappointed when Adam told me that peace would be our second theme because I thought we did that a few weeks ago. You might remember for Remembrance Day, we talked about peace and we talked about the peace that passes all understanding. But actually, I'll be honest with you, I don't think I can ever hear a message about peace too much. This last week has shown me that I constantly need reminding of God's peace in my life. And there have been times this week where I thought I am not up for giving this message because I'm somebody who's been a bit anxious at times this week. So how can I talk about it? Isn't that being a hypocrite? And God reminded me that this isn't a message about peace that we give. It's a message about God's peace. So this isn't about me and whether I bring peace. And that's a part of what we're thinking about today. But this is a message about God giving his peace, his gift of peace to us. The reading that we heard today speaks about God comforting his people. It goes on a bit further down that passage. You might like to have a look about how God, like a shepherd, tends to his flock, to his lambs, nurturing them and caring for them. And the reading starts with that message about peace over his people, comfort over his people. Thinking about the shepherds, when we look to Christmas and the angels came to visit the shepherds and tell them the news that Jesus had come. They started by saying glory to God in the highest and peace to all people on earth. When the angel visited Mary, when the angel spoke to Joseph, whenever angels speak throughout the Bible, they come first of all with the message, do not be afraid. Well, I can understand that because if an angel was standing in front of me, I'd be pretty afraid. Do not be afraid. But in this message, when the angels speak, sing to the shepherds, they say peace to all people on earth. This is a much bigger message. This is God saying to his people, have my peace. I'm giving it to you. The reading that we had today comes from the book of Isaiah, which is a prophecy or lots of prophecies. Isaiah was a messenger from God. And there are so many things in Isaiah that tell us about the coming of Jesus. And for us, they make sense because we look at it all in hindsight. But for the people at the time, they didn't know how this was going to map out, what was going to happen. One of those readings speaks about names for Jesus. And one of those names is the Prince of Peace. So today, I would like us all, myself included, to grasp hold of that news that God is breathing his peace over his people. There's an echo between the region in Isaiah and our present circumstance that we have been in trials and, and tribulation and suffering and difficulty for so long. And God hears that. God feels that. God knows that he's with that with us in it. And he breathes his peace over his people. I'm not going to give you some deep... Um, unpicking of the scripture today i just want to share with you this message that god gives his peace to all the people as we prepare for christmas we can get caught up in the activity loads of that is so much fun don't get me wrong i'm not saying that's wrong but sometimes our anxieties can be heightened by how much we have to do maybe this week you need to take a moment to be still and to know god's peace Maybe take a moment to read some of those chapters from Isaiah. Maybe hear a song that we play this morning or another one that you know that helps to remind you that God, the Prince of Peace, is here with you right now in the storm, speaking his comfort. Amen. sit alone We do not stand alone We do not walk alone We do
to not dance alone Unseen, unveiled Emmanuel, Emmanuel Our God is with us there Emmanuel Emmanuel Our God is with us There We do not work alone We do not cook alone We do not drive alone We do not Clean alone Unmade Uncaged Emmanuel Emmanuel Our God is with us There Emmanuel Emmanuel Our God is with us there Word made flesh This is Jesus Present tense This is Jesus Word made flesh This is Jesus We do not eat alone We do not sleep alone We do not live alone We will not die alone Unknown Unleashed Emmanuel Emmanuel Our God is with with us there Emmanuel Emmanuel our God is with us here Emmanuel Emmanuel our God is with us here